Today we will study electric fields, different quantity related to intensity and how we measure electric field with reference to different charges, what are the units of electric field and what are the dimensions of electric field. What is electric field? We have done. What is definition of electric field? We have done. So, we will start with what are the units of electric field. So, what we have done so far that electric field is force experienced by a unit charge and this is the formula we got for electric field and this is test charge. This is measurement of electric field in terms of force. We will put vector here. This is a scalar quantity. So electric field is a vector quantity. Vector. E is vector and its direction is same as direction of force. Vector direction is same as that of force experienced by test charge. Experienced by test charge. This is one way of measurement of electric field. Now, see another uh, way of measurement. This electric field is applying force on the charge and we have noted in the previous chapter that force on a charge is only because of another charge. That means there is another charge in the vicinity somewhere which is applying force on it and its effect is called electric field as we have read in the previous lecture. So, there is a charge somewhere which is having effect all around it and that will apply force on this charge. So, I will say it is having effect around it, it is having electric field around it and intensity of electric field I want to measure. How do we measure it? The force per unit charge. Now this charge which is having its effect all around it, I will call it source charge. Source charge. Now how much is the force it is applying on it? By Coulomb's law, the force on this charge, force on Q due to Q is 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught Q Q upon R square. This is the quantity of force on it and the direction. If this is the direction R21 Q to Q then force is in this direction R21 unit vector. This gives the direction and now it becomes a vector form. This is the force on this. But here we have already defined, we have already measured that electric field is force upon Q. And here what we get force, the quantity of force is electric field multiplied by Q. Now this force we are measuring by two methods. In one method source charge is involved and distance is involved. In other method intensity of electric field and the test charge is involved. This is method for test charge. This is method for source charge. But force is one. Therefore, we are in a condition to equate the two. That is force is E into Q is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught Q Q upon R square R 2 1. Okay. Now, we can cancel Q from both the sides and we get electric field intensity is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught Q upon R square and its direction is R 2 1. This is measurement of electric field in terms of source charge. This is measurement of electric field in terms of test charge. So if test charge is given with the force we will measure it this way. If source charge is given we will measure it with the help of distance between them. This is how we measure electric field at any point. 
Now, the next thing. What are the units? Number first, what type of quantity is it? Is it a vector quantity or a scalar quantity that we have already replied that it is a vector quantity because basically it is force on a charge. So remember electric field is force, right? Only condition that force on a unit charge. So this you will remember. Now we find the unit unit of electric field intensity unit we will find from here it has got a unit newton this is coulomb so this is newton per coulomb this is unit of electric field can we find out dimensions answer is yes electrical quantities are favorite of the examiners to ask the dimensions so here dimensions newton is force force on charge and for force dimensions are m l t minus 2 for the charge it is current that is electric current uh, uh, the dimensions are a into time so this is the dimensions of e are force m l t minus 2 charge a t then this comes to m l t minus 3 a minus 1 these are dimensions of electric field please remember this uh, this is generally asked in one marks question or in the competitive exams also so these are certain measurements about the electric field okay after that this electric field is having a direction. Is the electric field having a sign, positive or negative? The answer yes. It is having a sign because here, if uh, the direction of force, if this is a negative charge, if Q is negative charge, then electric field will be negative. If Q is positive, then electric field is positive. What does that mean? That means our test charge is always a positive charge. This is source charge. If this is a positive charge, then this will repel in this direction and we will say E is positive. If this is a negative charge, then this negative will attract it and this will be the direction of force and direction of force is the direction of electric field. So electric field is towards the source charge and this Q is negative. So negative sign will come here and this electric will be known as negative electric field. So an electric field directed towards source charge is negative and electric field directed away from the source charge is positive electric field. So electric field is a vector quantity. It has got units. It has got dimensions. It is calculated by test charge. It can be calculated and measured by source charge with Q and R and it is positive and negative. This is what we have done in this class. And in the next class, we will see the directions of different type of source charges. If our source charge is only a point, then how will be the directions of electric field? If our charge is a line having charges, the electric field will be different. If our charge is distributed in a sheet, the electric field will be different. So there are different shapes and these are very interesting shapes. There are very different types of electric field. This we will do in the next class.